When many Muslims today think of Ahruf and Kira'at, they conceive of these things as an easy answer to the numerous variants in the Quranic manuscripts. No matter how many variants there are, no matter what those variants are, they're all Ahruf or Kira'at. They come right from Muhammad, and they can simply be dismissed as concerns for the Quran's perfect preservation. However, in the real world, things are much more complex. Things I've said before on this channel sound strikingly similar to what Muslim scholars are now publicly saying. And so when most Muslims encounter differences or variants within different Qurans, they'll simply wave them off as Ahruf or Kira'at. So let's talk about these two terms. Let's start with Ahruf. What are Ahruf? I have absolutely no idea, but neither do you. Likewise, on Ahruf, Shabir Ali agreed, saying the meaning is uncertain. Now, I said uh, Ahruf previously, that's an Arabic word, and the singular is harf, which means letter. So it uh, literally means seven letters. But this word could also mean uh, edge. The word harf could mean edge. So maybe it means seven limits. And in fact, Muslim scholars have not been able to define this term with, with any unanimity. And recently, Yasser Qadi agreed much more emphatically. Every single student of knowledge knows who studies Ulum al Quran that the most difficult topics are Ahruf and Qiraat. And the concept of Ahruf and the reality of Ahruf and the relationship of the Uthmanic Mus'haf with the Ahruf and the preservation of the Ahruf. Is it one? Is it three? Is it seven? And the relationship of the Qira'at to the Ahruf. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. The issue of Ahruf and Qira'at caused confusion to somebody whom the Prophet said, if you want to listen to the Quran directly, listen to Ubayy. However, when I post videos on the preservation of the Quran and discuss these kinds of topics, citing Muslim sources, Muslims in the comment section are clearly disturbed. What they're hearing from me and other channels like this goes against what they've been told, but it doesn't go against the data in their own sources, like Yasser Qadi says. And they'll bring issues, which I'm not going to mention explicitly, that you know are true because they're in your own books. They're not inventing anything new. And that is true. The vast majority of the material I use in my videos on the preservation of the Quran is from Muslim sources. However, since Muslims haven't heard these things before, they assume that I'm using untrustworthy Muslim sources or even worse, non-Muslim sources. And so they begin arguing in the comments section. Others post refutation videos. What these Muslims don't seem to realize is that they're not arguing with me, though they think they are. They're actually arguing with their own sources and their own scholars. And they're doing this not on the basis of data, but on the basis of what they believe, the popular Muslim narrative that the Quran has been miraculously preserved. So what is the disconnect between these Muslims and the data? Yasser Qadi enlightens us. When you're the beginning, beginning student of knowledge, you're like, what is all of this going on here? When you go a little bit more, you learn to simply memorize what your teachers say and regurgitate it out and you don't fully comprehend. When you do a deep dive is when things get very, very awkward and difficult. The vast majority of Muslims on my channel are in one of these two stages. They are simply confused or they only know enough to repeat what they've been told. You learn to simply memorize what your teachers say and regurgitate it out. Most Muslims will not want to progress any further because if they do, things get very, very awkward and difficult. So here's my advice to Muslims. Stop arguing with yourselves. You think you're refuting me. You think you're refuting channels like this, but you're not. You're simply in a state of confusion. When you're the beginning, beginning student of knowledge, you're like, what is all of this going on here? Or you're repeating what you've been told. When you go a little bit more, you learn to simply memorize what your teachers say and regurgitate it out. Remember, we are just using your sources. They're in your own books. They're not inventing anything new. But the difference is that unlike Muslims, we are not limited by the bounds of orthodoxy. In a Muslim environment, there's always some respect that we have for the Quran. We should. In a Muslim environment, we'll press a little bit and then we'll say, okay, khalas, sami'na wa ta'na. When you go to academia, they don't have that red line. What we're seeing now is the reaction of some Muslim leaders to their realization that facts about the preservation and transmission of the Quran are filtering down 
to popular level Muslims, and they can no longer be shielded by lies about miraculous preservation of the Muslim scriptures. And the questions that are being raised about the preservation and transmission of the Quran do not find answers among Muslim scholars. By and large, our ulama in the Eastern world are not aware, by and large, of what's going on in the Western side of things. And they're not answering those questions in a manner that it needs to be answered. The lies about the perfect preservation of the Quran are being exposed. And sadly, Muslims have been kept so ignorant of the facts that when they hear them on channels like this, they start their refutations in the comment section, or they post videos on Muslim response channels, not even realizing what they're doing. Instead of arguing with me, they're actually arguing against Muslim scholars and the sources from their own religion, sources that many Muslim leaders have taught them to ignore or reinterpret to support the lie of the Quran's miraculous preservation. So Muslims, as the data continue to trickle down to the popular level, keep refuting my channel and others like it, but at least be informed enough to realize you're arguing with your own scholars. You're arguing against data in your own sources. You're arguing with yourselves.